Welcome to our morning devotions. We are bringing these to you knowing that some of you are not able to get our devotional booklets um, because they're delivered to the church. We are also giving it to you because we realize that many of you are taking walks and listening to things and we invite you to start your day with a word from God. And so I invite you to do these things each and every day as we live our Christian walk and faith. I will start every day by being open to the blessings that God is going to give me. I will realize every day that I am the face of God to everyone I meet. And I will end every day by thanking God for the blessings received and place into God's hands my worries and fears.
morning. Today is Wednesday, September 16th. Today we read from Christ in Our Home, July, August, September 2020 edition. Our reading comes from Mark chapter 11, verses 20 through 25. In the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree withered away to its roots. Then Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree that you cursed has withered. Jesus answered them, have faith in God. Truly I tell you, if you say this to the mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea. And if you do not doubt in your heart, but believe that what you say will come to pass, it will be done for you. So I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Whenever you stand praying, forgive. If you have anything against anyone, so that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. Happy Wednesday, September 16th. In Mark 11, Jesus walks by a fig tree hoping to find figs to satisfy his hunger. The tree has no figs because it's the wrong season. Still, Jesus curses the tree for its lack of fruit. In today's reading, Jesus and his disciples come upon this same tree the next morning and find it withered. Jesus suggests that a tree without fruit and a prayer without forgiveness cannot fulfill their intended purpose. I wonder sometimes about my prayers and what effect they have. No mountains, literal or figurative, seem to move when I pray. Yet I do know this. When I'm holding a grudge in my heart or feel angry about what someone has done, I have trouble sensing God's presence and love. Forgiveness of others and a trusting relationship with God go hand in hand, and when they do, the possibilities of prayer are endless and its power vast. Forgiving God, help me forgive others just as you forgave me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. <laughs> 